everyone welcome back to studio 33 art by k a couple of months ago i did a piece um which had lots of different colors on it and i'd done a spiral and then i um had drawn with my meat skewer or, or my bamboo um, chopstick just a circle through it which created some beautiful patterns and there was a lady who particularly loved it and i hadn't done a video of it um, and she asked me if I would, so I've decided I'll do that today. Um, I'm going to use the Montmartre Supercell, some of their paints, to get the cells, because it had lots of cells in it. And if you're having trouble getting cells, using the Supercell paint is a bit of a, you know, um, easier way to get some cells too, if you're having trouble getting cells. And I'm also going to just use some of the Montmartre pouring paint colours in with that. Um, so I'm just going to lay down the base will be um, I'm going to lay down the purple Montmartre pouring paint dark purple it is an opaque um, it's usually better if you've got an opaque as your base color to cover your canvas properly so I'm just going to lay down that paint I'll just do a bit of a circle in the middle there and I'm actually going to be using these little um, sink strainers. This is one I've just got recently that's nice and flat on the base. One of the other ones I was using before was quite con concave. So these ones I'm finding are a bit better. And that's just a way to get patterns on the, um, in amongst the paint. And it also helps to create some cells where the paints are being pushed over each other. So I'll just spread this out to start with. Just cover those edges. You want your paint for this technique to be your base to be deep enough that when I'm using the little sink strainer to push down, that it actually um, has something to push down into and to bring it up around the colours. So it'll be interesting to see how much this dark purple actually comes through. Now I'm probably going to do this in two stages. I'm going to do the spiral to start with, and then I might do a reverse dip on it um, as a stage two. So you could stop at either point and leave it at that. Right, so just burst those bubbles. The beauty of using the pre-mixed paints, of course, is you can just go out into your art room and say, you know, I'm just going to create something today and you don't have to worry about mixing paints. You can just grab them off the shelf and create some lovely art, make some beautiful coasters or whatever it is you want to do uh, without having to worry too much. Um, I do like to mix my own paints as well. I do all of the different things, but um, just for those of you beginning, you know, these Montmartre pouring paints are great. So I'm just going to start in the center there. I'll work out where the center is. So if I just get my chopstick here and go from corner to corner, oops, that will give me the um, center there. So I'd like to sort of have it more or less centered, more, more than less. I'm starting off with the Shiraz, which I haven't got much left of, and it's my favourite pink in the Montmartre range. Oops, it's not going to come out all that easily. So this is just going to be some little bursts of colour that will be in amongst my spiral. One of my favourite pinks, that one. That's the um, Shiraz by Montmartre, pouring paints. And then I'll start with this pink, which is magenta. And this is also just the um, Montmartre pouring paint range. 
It's always easier to get a spiral if you're using a proper squeezy bottle, I find, than trying to squeeze out of these bottles, but it'll be close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. So this one's for the people who love the pink and purple together. There will be a little bit of blue and a tiny bit of aqua. So I'm going to put the turquoise. I'm saying aqua, but I mean turquoise. So this is supercell. This is the first of the supercells we're laying down today. Apparently it does have some silicon in it, but I haven't had any trouble resining over it. You've just got to make sure that you wipe your piece clean. I always just use a baby wipe. Some people prefer to use a little bit of alcohol. Um, or you can just use a little bit of soapy water. It's got to be very, very dry, of course. And now a little bit of this um, navy blue. I've nearly run out of this, so I just wanted to finish that up. It's going to be a bit dotty dotty around as well, I think. Nearly run out. And then some of the hot pink, which is just the straight Montmartre pouring paint. Now I think I've got a tiny bit of flow troll in this. I must have um, put in it at some point. I've got written on the bottle, just so you know. Don't want to mislead anyone. Right. And now the Supercell Paint Gold. So how many Supercells have I put in today? I've only put in the turquoise and that little bit of the navy blue. Everything else has been straight pouring paint. I do love this gold though, so I'm going to make sure I put enough of that on there. You should create some lovely cells. Take it all the way to the edge. And now, just for something a little bit different, um, I love the pouring paints by Pouring Masters. So I usually buy that from Amazon um, US. Uh, maybe it's Amazon Australia, but it comes from the US. Anyway, um, this is an interference pearl. So it only shows up once it's dry. It goes on looking like it's white. Excuse that noise, my partner's just mowing the lawns. Hopefully it won't stop from hearing me. So with an interference paint, um, it looks white when you put it on, but when it dries, it have a beautiful um, iridescent color that will show up once it's dry, particularly if you use it on a black background. You can see here on the lid, I think, where that's dried, and you can see that beautiful color. Again, they're um, ready to pour paints from Pouring Masters. I do really like those as well. So now I'm just going to burst the bubbles. Put a lot of paint on there and I'm going to um, start doing this little squishing down with my sink strainers. Now I've got three of these because you do need to keep the little bottoms clean when you're um, doing it otherwise it goes very muddy so I don't want to be muddy. So I'll just start at the outer edge, push down and then bring it up. So I'll just do two and then I'll clean it. It's down, give it a good push down so it sinks all the way down and up. Okay, get my next one. You can see it just causes a reaction in the paints and it's bringing up that base, that lovely dark purple base. Down and up. Try and get that corner. Okay, just twice with each one. Now 
It just creates a beautiful pattern. Now I have to wipe the bottoms. Make sure the colours aren't going to get too muddy. Just clean off the base there. Do another couple, just a little one there. Another two whole ones. Clean off the next one. A little corner. One, two. And then the last one. Do a couple in the center there. Might get away with doing three there. Okay, so it's just such an interesting pattern when you do that to squish down with the um, those sink strainers. So a pattern that you get doing virtually no other way. So I'm just going to use the heat and bottom tool, burst some bubbles. So that helps to get a bit of a reaction going with those um, Montmartre pouring paints you can see here, just getting a bit of a reaction happening. And that will continue to come through. I don't know if I'm loving that dark purple. What do you think, guys? Um, it's okay, but it's a bit greyish. Could have maybe put the uh, turquoise on the bottom, maybe. Had a bit more of that come through. But you can play around with your colours. So if you do something and you're not 100%, about what you did well then you know the next time to try it a different way the only way you know is to, to try it so now as those cells are coming up i'm just going to use this um, bamboo um what is it chopstick and i'm just going to draw a circle around the middle and it's just going to go through all of these and create another pattern again so just starting in the center and gently just dragging through very hard to get your circle straight it just gives these really nice patterns going through there pattern through the patterns Take it all the way to the corners. Okay, so there we have that, which is just lovely. Very pretty, soft, florally looking piece. So you can see you've got your patterns from where I've done the um, squishing down with the sink strainer, and then the pattern from taking the skewer through. So it's very different to the piece I did um, a few months ago. I had, I think it was all the um, supercell pouring paints actually in that one, so it had lots more cells. But this is cell, cells are a lot more subtle because I only had the three colours that I used with this uh, supercell, which was the turquoise, the navy blue, which I only had a little bit of, and the gold. Um, but yeah, would have been interesting to see if I'd done the supercell as the base, what that would have looked like. So that'll be an experiment for another day. So we'll just um, use the heat tool again. So now I'm just going to do a gentle little spin just to get a little bit of the paint off. I don't like to spin too much because I don't want to um, skew with my pattern too much. So I'll just do a little spin.
Okay, so that should dry really nicely uh, without any problems at all. I have found those paints dry really, really well. So I'll just leave that one there now and I'll bring you down for a close-up. Here we are coming down for the close-up. It's got some really lovely little patterns on here where I've taken the skewer through and where I've used the sink strainer. So you can see there. It's really pretty and it's something that you don't get sort of doing any other way really. I really love that piece there, look at that. We would have got more cells had we used more of the supercell. I'm starting to run out of it actually, I need to buy some more. Um, so that can be an experiment for another day doing this with just the supercell paints. So let me know what you think guys and um, I'll see you back here in Studio 33 in the not too distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye bye.